Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question Spiral Matrix 2. A few months ago, I solved the Spiral Matrix 1. I put the link in the description below so you can check later. Actually, we can apply uh, almost the same logic to so Spiral Matrix 2. So you are given a positive integer n, uh, generate n by n matrix filled with uh, elements from 1 to n square in the spiral order. So let's see the example. So n equals 3, so output is like 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 4, 7, 6, 5. So we can uh, go around the matrix like spiral, like this. Yeah, so very simple question. So let me explain how to solve this question. Before I start my explanation, so let me introduce my channel. So I create a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews. I explain all the details of all questions in the video, and you can get the code from GitHub for free. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. Thank you for your support. Okay, so let me explain with uh, this example. So n equals 3, so I created 3 by 3, and all numbers are initialized with 0. And uh, there is two um, variables, dx and dy, so initialized 1 and 0. And uh, this is a, a, like a move direction. So we start from 0, 0, and then when we move next, we sh uh, will move um, x direction, like uh, this way, right way. And then uh, when we reach out of bounds, um, I apply this formula. So update dx with uh, minus dy, and uh, update dy with dx. So somebody wondering how I can find uh, this formula. It's simple. <laughs> I just uh, wrote down uh, and then many times, I uh, try many times. So yeah, um, this form, uh, this uh, simple formula works uh, for like a spiral moving. So let's see. Um, so first of all, we start from zero zero, and then so update uh, here to, I think it starts from 1, right? So update 1, and then move next, so 1, 0, so this way. And then um, this is not out of bounds, just update this place with 2. And then move next, update this number to 3. And then move next, but uh, here is out of bounds. So I apply this formula to dx dy. And, uh, so update these uh, two variables um, like uh, uh, simultaneously. So dy uh, dx should be minus dy, but uh, current dy is zero, so dx should be zero. And uh, update dy with dx, so one. So that's why one. So now we can move like a y direction, so one zero. So that means we can move this way, right? So, and then move next, and the next number is 4. And then move next, update this number with 5. And then now we reach out of bounds. So now again, uh, we can apply this formula for these two variables. So dx should be minus dy, so now dy is 1. So dx should be minus 1. And then dy, update dy with dx, so 0. So that's why dy is now 0. So minus dx direction should be this way, right? So now we move next, so update 6. And then move next, update with 7. And then now we reach out of bounds. Again, I apply this formula to uh, these two variables. So update dx with minus dy, so 0. And then update dy with dx, so minus 1. So that means um, we can go up like this, right? So move next, and then update this number with 8. And then, so here, so we can go up, but uh, uh, it's, so 0, 0 is a place where we already visited, because uh, how can we find, uh, so this number, uh, this place is uh, already visited, it's simple, so we initialized with 0 
uh, all places are initialized with zero. So if next position is not zero, that means we already visited. So this place is uh, like the same as out of bounds. So we should move this way. So now we can apply this formula to these variables. And then, uh, so dx should be minus dy, so minus dy, so current dy is minus one, multiply minus one, so that means dx should be one. And then dy, update dy with dx, so now zero, so that's y, zero. So now dx is one, dy is zero, so that's why we can move right direction, right? So move next, and then, um, nine and then finish yeah uh, actually this is uh, almost same explanation as a uh, spiral matrix one yeah so with that being said let's get into the code okay so let's write the code first of all initialize x and y so these two variables are used for current position and the dx and the dy and the initialize zero 0, 1, 0. And I create a 2D matrix. So let's say result variable with like a 0 for underscore in range and times and a for underscore in range and the n times. And the start looping for i in range. So how many times? So this is a n by n matrix. So n multiply n, right? And then first of all, update current place. So y and uh, x. So we use uh, um, this index number. So index usually starts from zero, right? So that's why i plus one. And then check the like a check out of bounds or not. And if not, zero greater than or equal x plus dx less than n or not zero greater than or equal y plus dy uh, less than n or result variable so y plus dy and the uh, x plus dx so next position is not zero so in that case um, we can apply the, that formula um, i explained uh, in the previous section so dx and dy equal minus dy and uh, dx after that update current place x plus equal dx and y plus equal dy and then that's it so after that just return result variable yeah let me submit it looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of n square so that's because um we create a uh, like a n by n matrix and uh, we visit all places once so that's why uh, we execute like a n by n, that means o, uh, o n square. And the space complexity is also O n square. So I created uh, like a uh, n by n matrix here. So that's why. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button or leave your comment. I'll see you in the next question.